Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting video today. I'm trying out some new products that I got from the Sephora sale. You'll see in my video that I make a lot of mistakes, but I also show you how I fix them. So hopefully that will be beneficial to you. And it's also reality, right? Just because we're makeup artists doesn't mean that everything goes as smooth for us as we sometimes make it seem on our videos. I hope it makes you feel better about your makeup application. And if you make a mistake, it's okay. And there's just ways to fix it. Some of the products that I'm using today are from Merit. I've got Fenty Beauty Mascara. I've got Rare Beauty Lip Oil. Also a House Labs Powder and a blush from MAC. They're all fairly new to me and I want to show you what they look like. So I hope you stick with me and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and this content and let's get going. So I got a couple new things from the Sephora sale. I want to try out some first impressions. One of the products I got is the Merit Foundation Stick. This is the Minimalizer. So I'm gonna try this. I hope that the foundation is the right color for me. The stick is very small. I do love stick foundations. I own a couple of them. I own the Makeup Forever stick foundations. I own the Hourglass stick foundations and actually Glow Skin Beauty as well because I used to carry that line. A couple things that I love about them is you can apply your foundation, but also it's really easy to stick in your purse for those touch-ups if you wanna go out for dinner after work or if you, anything, just touch-ups. So I'm gonna see if this works and I already tried this once and I loved it. This is the Rare Beauty Lip Oil. Is it called? Let's read the English. It's Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil. And this is in the color Hope, and I loved the feel of this, so I'm gonna try that too. I don't have any new eyeshadows to try for you. Actually, yes, I do. I showed it in a short, but I'm gonna show you here in case you didn't see that. I haven't been looking at the camera. I'm using my phone, so it's really hard. Anyway, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. There's new dual-ended shadow sticks that are available at Sephora now, and then they will be available on uh, Bobbi Brown's website, I think May 5th. So I'm gonna show you those as well. So I already have my moisturizer on. I did buy Freck Beauty Rich Bitch. This is a moisturizer primer, but I'm just trying this foundation out for the first time. So I wanna try it without first. And let's see if, oh, it might be too light. I think this is gonna be too light. I keep doing that. What color is this? Because I self tan my skin all the time, I'm just never sure what color I am. Maybe I will use it as a highlight color up here. Let's start there first and we'll see what we think. Put it down my nose, my chin area, right in here. And let's do a little bit there too. Don't you hate that when that happens? So let's push this in first. Definitely too light. Let me put my hair back here so I can actually see what I'm doing. These clips are really nice, by the way, to ensure that you don't get clip marks in your hair. You probably know that already, but that's why we use them. Usually I like a stiffer brush. I have to show you something though. Look at the contour that created. Just by adding that lightness here, it's like a reverse contour especially with me, with my self-tan and my freckles. See, little trick. I actually had to do that once for somebody in sitting in my chair. She really had a lot of freckles and she was really hard to match. Freckles can be very hard to match. And that's what I did. I did a reverse contour on her instead. So I used lightness down here and really left this part alone and then use concealer and it worked wonderful. So if you have a lot of freckles and you're having a hard time, that's an option for you. And if you have hyperpigmentation in those areas, you can use a darker foundation there that will not make your freckles look gray or, you know, yucky. That's the best way I can say it. Okay, so far that's really nice. It looks like skin. I actually feel like this could be used as my concealer as well. Should I try it? Just covering up the redness around my nose. It's allergy season. I'm always right around my nose though. Hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it for my concealer. Let's go. Right there, right there, and right there. This is the It Cosmetics Dual Ended Brush, which in this case is coming in handy. And just underneath my eye. I'm gonna take my brush and go on the end and just tap it on where I missed. Okay. 
That's pretty. I'm going crazy with this now. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup after I'm done blending this in and we'll see how it sits. I like to do that before I set my concealer. Um, especially when I use my lash curler, I kind of bump into this area a little bit. So I always like to touch up my concealer at the very end and then I'll set it with powder. So I'm gonna go on to my hourglass and you know, I might just do a little bit of a contour. I have three shades in this. I think I'm gonna pick warm beige because that's gonna work as my contour shade anyways. And put that right there. Or my bronzer shade, I should say. Everybody's so picky when it comes to naming what this is. I don't get that picky. Both add dimension. It doesn't matter if it's labeled bronzer or contour. They both add shape to your face. You do whatever makes you happy and call it whatever you want. And I went too low with that, so I'm gonna go up. Why did I go so low? What am I thinking? No, that color's not working. We're taking that off. Hold on, bad idea. Let's take that off. And I went heavy handed too. What the heck? Back to the drawing board. Okay, let's go back to the Merit. Bring my shape back to my face. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You just gotta take it off and start over. Before I do anything with this, I'm gonna take it off too, because that's clearly too dark. I actually don't feel like I need a lot of coverage up there. So I think I'm just gonna switch it out to my Merit. Wow, I'm using a lot of Merit. That was not planned, but this is my Merit bronzing stick in clay. And we'll just do this. Very slight now. And a bit on my nose. Just the tip. Now I'm gonna take the same brush that I used for the Merit, for the lighter color, and I'm gonna blend this out. There, I feel better. There are three new dual-ended sticks that are available on Sephora right now. Pink Mercury and Nude Beach. This is probably the one that I wear the most. That is Pink Mercury and Nude Beach. That's Bark and Pink Steel. Then we've got Taupe and Golden Pink. Which one should I do today? Maybe I'll do Taupe and Golden Pink. You guys have probably seen the Nude Beach and the Pink Mercury before in my other videos because I wear it quite often. So we'll try this one for today. So I just messily put it all over, use a brush to blend it out or my fingers, either one. And like that, it's that simple. I'm just gonna take my finger and do this, but I'm gonna use taupe as my liner as well. Like that. And I'm done with the taupe. Now I'm gonna turn it around and use golden pink right in here, right up to the crease kind of. And I'm blending that out with my finger. I can also put that right here in the corner. And I could add a little bit there. Often I don't though, because that tends to enhance my wrinkles. Easy peasy. So again, Kind of messy. Now you want to blend it before it sets because once it sets, it stays. Golden pink. These do come separately, by the way. So if you like one and not the other, you can definitely buy them in a full stick and not the duo. Just to make it even, I'll do that. and taupe on the bottom. Now these are really soft colors, so that's why I'm being so messy with it. It really doesn't matter. You don't have to be picky with it. If you go a little bit messy out here, don't worry about it. You can actually go back with my Merit Beauty. That kind of messy blend doesn't bother me that much. I feel like effortless sometimes looks really good. Sometimes perfection is overrated. 
I'm gonna do my mascara in a minute, but I wanna show you my brows. So I had been talking in my other videos of how I'm really liking brow powder lately. Again, that was like the way I used to do it back in the day. It was just an eyeshadow, but I ordered the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow, what is this? The brow powder duo, and this is in soft brown. Now I have a warmer hair color, so that's why I chose this one. Um, but if you have a cooler tone, use taupe if you're light and use a darker brown. Just pick the color that suits your hair color best. I wanna show you how easy using a powder is. I may go back to using a pencil. One of my favorites is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat, but I've really enjoyed using a powder. It's really simple and easy. So I mostly dip into the lighter shade here. I'm looking down at my mirror, which is a magnifying mirror. So if you're wondering where I'm looking, that's where it is, so I can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm using a very stiff brush. You can get these anywhere. This is a Smith Cosmetics brush, but you don't need an expensive brush for this. I can leave a link for you, but again, it's not necessary. And I'm just working against the grain of the hair as well, right? really to make sure that I get it on my skin. Good thing about this brush though is it's nice and small so I can kind of create the shape of the brow perfectly right there just by tapping that color on. I did dip into the darker color for this because I wasn't finding that I could see it very well. Now I'm going to comb it out and it's full. I don't think there's any holes. I don't see any from my angles, but I may see it when I edit this. I'm not going for perfection today. If you have a lower brow, try to cheat it up a little bit just to give yourself a little bit of a lift and don't stop this area too short. Make sure that it's on an angle like this. So right here to the outside corner of your eye and make sure it lands out there. Not heavy, but just extended. Again, working that into the skin, bypassing the hair and tapping into this darker color here for the area that I have no hair. And then I'm gonna comb it out. I did a video the other day with a brow pen. I posted it, but I almost didn't because they were horrid. They even stopped the video in between and said, oh my God, look at these orange brows. They were awful. I like a little bit of a soft diffused color in there, even though it darkened them, it's still not visible. Like you can't see a stop and a start. If this is the Fenty Beauty mascara, let me curl my lashes first, wherever that went. Make sure when you curl your lashes that you get right to the base and then kind of crawl it up from there. What a difference a curl makes. I say that every time, but I want you to realize what a difference a curl makes. I have used this mascara before and I like it. I haven't had any issues with it so far. It's nice and black, which I like. My favorite was Tarte Tubing Mascara, but that's just because it's so easy to get off and I don't find it flakes on me, but you know, that's me. It could flake on you, it could irritate your eyes, who knows? This is why you gotta try things out. All we can do is tell you what works on us and hopefully it will work on you. All right, so that's one coat. I'll always go on to the next eye and then back and forth and back and forth, depending on how many coats I wanna do so that this dries a little bit, but not all the way. How many of you do multiple coats of mascara? I never even think about just doing one. It's just natural for me to go back and forth a couple times, but I like a really nice thick lash. I noticed that a lot of product gets on the brush. You know, when you pull a mascara out and you can kind of feel the suction, this doesn't have as much suction to pull the extra product off the brush, if that makes sense. So what's that noise I'm thinking about? I think I'm just gonna stick with two coats today because I'm liking the look of that. I feel like if I went for a third, it might start looking clumpy. And I wanna show you the mascara I've been liking for my bottom lashes. This is by Iconic London, and I really like the brush of this. It's nice and thin, and it grabs my bottom lashes. So I'm gonna show you this one. I find that the Fenty Beauty gets a little bit too much product on my bottom lashes, and I don't like that. I 
the brush grab, so it's so nice. I'm not gonna re-dip, I'm just gonna go on to the left. Get up there. No, ugh, I'll fix it. Don't panic. I'm gonna scrape this off when it dries up and see if I can make it not affect my eyeshadow. I wanna show you what this lip oil looks like and I wanna show it to you without lip liner so we can really see the true color. I felt it was so comfortable. So this is in the color Hope. I didn't know what to order, but I feel like this is a good color. Yeah, it just meshes so nice. Like I don't even need to really put it on the top. I'm gonna let this sit for a bit because I saw other reviews where when this starts wearing off that the color actually stains your lips a little bit and I wanna see if it does. I'm really messy today, aren't I? It's kinda of like, it's rainy outside, is that why? You know when it rains outside and you kinda of just feel off? I still like my makeup though. I don't have any earrings on. I'm on the hunt for some sleeper earrings so that I can just wear them all the time and not be like this. I can't be here with no earrings on. Now I feel better. All right, what blush? What blush am I gonna use? Max sent me a blush and I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna go grab that. It's called Sweets for My Sweet. Um, you know, I'm not sure. It's quite shimmery. Now let's try it. I didn't put any bronzer on today, but I kind of feel like just using blush. All right, I'm gonna use a flexible brush. This one is, what is this? This is a Pro Contour number 79, but it has a flex to it, which I like. Gives me a little bit more control. So let's see. No, that's pretty, that's fresh. Is it giving me enough color? I think so. I'm glad I tried that. Okay, I'm really liking the look of the freshness and dewiness of my skin, but I'm going to set right in here. That's where my pores are larger and more visible. I've already filmed a short video using the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder, and I really like it. I didn't think that anything would beat my Laura Mercier Blur Powder. I still love the Blur Powder, and Hourglass Fail Setting Powder is beautiful too but I'm kind of hooked on this one now. I wanna show you what this does, but I'm gonna be very specific where I place this because I'm liking all of this. I'm just using a small brush because where I wanna put it is right here. And all that does is diffuse my pores, it takes that little bit of shine down. So this one's a little bit more matte, but it's not matte. It's a perfect mix. So right there and a little bit there. I wanna show you the inside too. It's pretty neat. So right in there. Let me double check my concealer because I'll probably powder a little bit under there as well. Put a little bit on my chin and around my nostrils where I continuously blow and get red. That's something I have to touch up all day long though. If I really care to touch it up, that's the area that I need to. The other area would be right in here because my pores are also larger right there. Never used to be, but they are now. Remember I put this under my eyes, so I'm gonna double check it now. What did I do? I got something shiny there. I'm a mess. What is that? Whatever that is, it's staying. I think it's the cream shadow stick. How did I get that there? Goodness. Thank goodness it's just makeup and I can fix it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna touch this up. I actually don't know that I need to touch it up, but I will anyways. Right in there. Make sure I got it all nice and fresh. And then I'm gonna set it with a little bit of powder. Tiny bit though. And just tap it on. That's why I'm using this brush. This is actually, I don't know if this is still available anymore. This is a Smashbox brush. Does it say what it is? It's called a Precise Highlighting Brush. But I'm using it for powder. It's got a nice flat edge. And I'm just gonna blend that out right there so you don't see a stop and a start. Okay, I almost forgot this mess here. Let's see if this comes off without messing everything up. Mm, 
Not exactly. Let's check out this lip oil, see what happens when I take it off. All right, I see a leftover tint. Do you guys? I definitely see it. That's not the natural lip color that I was born with. So I like that about this. I'm actually not a fan of lip oils, but I really like that one. I am gonna try to find a lip liner that will go with this. I literally just went through all of these looking for the right color and it's this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's really small, um, but I'm gonna put it on and you'll see why this looks good. So let me just put it on one half. Yeah, see, it's a perfect match. I'm not gonna change the color of my lip oil. Not that that matters, I just wanted to keep it as true to color as possible. Out. It was a little haphazard at times and I made a few mistakes, but you know what? That's reality. Sometimes we get on here and we make it look so easy, but that's not always the case. So I hope that makes you feel good about when you're applying makeup, because if it goes wrong, it's okay. You just take it off and start again or, you know, blend, just keep blending and it will all turn out. I'm going to leave the links to the products that I use down below in the description box. They do give me a small commission, no pressure ever to use them, of course, but they're there if you want them. And it does help me out a little bit as well and help support me. I hope you liked this video. If you did hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and give me a comment below. I loved getting to know you guys. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.